final door closing. Yes, please. Right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The crew is inviting you over to breakfast while waiting for you in the White Hall. Vitaly Borisovich, hello. You're a true eagle. Просто у вас угол торчит как раз. Hello, so I've just had breakfast. What's your mood prior to departure to Baikonur? It's one of the last minutes here in Zvezdne. This breakfast was the beginning of our great work. Everyone was interested in what you had for breakfast. Just approximately your menu. Was it tasty? Egg caviar, black caviar, eggplant caviar, joke from a film. Thanks. Any souvenirs, any talismans, symbols that you are going to take with you to space? Just repeating, we are taking a model of our future space vehicle, which is being designed right now, it's called Federation, and of course personal items that are dear for us. What type of personal items? For instance, that's my second flight, so I'm taking a souvenir, a small dragon. I was born in the year of the dragon, so it's my talisman that's going to fly with me into my second flight. Sergey, I'll take the Holy Scripture, my favorite icon, stones from Mount Favor, and letters from the family. Why Favor? I was told it's your call sign. Why Favor? It's uh, a mountain. In the Holy Land, it's not too high, but it makes uh, people think about high places. What are you expecting from the upcoming flight? What task do you have? The task is just one, the mission to accomplish it in time without a glitch. Once you arrive to Baikonur, what are you going to do during those two weeks? At Baikonur, we're starting our pre-flight training, so we're going to polish the knowledge that we got here during the entire time that we've trained. What are you going to do on the ISS? Once you arrive, what do you do? We're supposed to open the hatch and to enter the station. But uh, officially to deactivate the Soyuz vehicle and to prepare it for the long-term stay in orbit, and then to rest, to sleep, and then start working on the 27th. We have 54 experiments. What are the most interesting ones? All of them are going to grow something, are going to grow something, plants, and also to control 
remotely arms and manipulators systems for our kids and grandkids in the future. Thank you. So now you're part of the Russian space program. Thank <laughs> you. 